Rainbow Dash was obviously upset, but I had all my ducks in a row. Except one. She was not going to like it, but there was only one way to find out if my suspicions were correct. We looked everywhere, but Spitfire wasn't at her mom's house. Where could she be? I found the culprit! Some pony sent Spitfire away and framed Rainbow Dash for it. And that pony was none other than... Wind Rider! Oh. Rarity, I can't believe you would accuse Wind Rider of framing me! He's a living legend for pony's sake! All the evidence points to him. <coughs> what evidence could you possibly have? All you did was ask about cake, admire decor, and change outfits a gazillion times. Let me explain. I never believed you would send Spitfire away. And when we found the rainbow hairs in Spitfire's room, I could tell they didn't fall out. They were cut. No pony loses hair in a chunk. And look at the ends. It's a straight line. They were clearly cut with shears, which means some pony planted it. Then, when we were examining Spitfire's room, I smelled something on the envelope. Juniper Phoenix, Wind Rider's cologne of choice. Then, in the castle hallway, I noticed some of the damask curtains fell out of their velvet rope holder, indicating that some pony had been hiding behind them. Perhaps after they dropped off the fake letter? Juniper Phoenix is a very popular fragrance, and any pony could have moved those curtains. Precisely why I questioned the castle guards. They were at their post at the entrance to the hallway all night, except for a small window of time when some pony brought them cake. A cake that was ordered by a girl pony with a raspy voice. Whoever ordered the cake got a chocolate stain on their ivory scarf. And I couldn't help but notice that Wind Rider's scarf is tied in a tight Windsor knot instead of its usual loose slip knot. And why is that? Is it to hide the chocolate stain? <gasps> ah, this is preposterous. Wonderbolts, you don't believe a word of this, right? Just admit it. You're as guilty of framing Rainbow Dash as you are of ruining that ivory scarf. Uh, fine. You caught me. I did it. But why, Wind Rider? Is it because I took the last broccoli at the dinner and you really, really wanted it? No. It was because he was afraid that you would break his long-distance Wonderbolt record. I heard him when Spitfire said you were close to breaking his record. He said, and I quote, <laughs> That's the polite but disingenuous laugh you make when you want to seem happy, but really, you're not. I thought if I could get Rainbow Dash kicked out of the Wonderbolts forever, my record would be preserved. Really? That is so not cool. And I thought you were the coolest Wonderbolt ever, until now.